everybody. And today on Some Guy Doing Stuff, we're going to be installing neon lights for the Tesla made by Nestor. Alright, so it looks like we got an instruction manual, double sided tape, pry tool and some zip ties with some 3M tape, a lot of wires, Okay, looks like we got a new uh, center console and the light strips. Seems like there's a lot of wiring to do. This is going to be fun. Alright, so the first thing I want to say is please excuse the mess in my car. I didn't clean it. Let's get started. First thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to measure the tape along the front panel here. So we're going to grab the strip here, drop that down, and it's going to go right in here like this. So we're going to have to get some tape to hold it as well. Go all the way across. So let's get the 3M tape here. Let's start getting that going here. It's double sided. So let's see, this is going to go this way. This is not fun. It's going to be a long, tedious process here, but I think I could do it. And I got to go all the way across, and then I'm going to cut on the other side of the dashboard. Remove the side panel so you could put the light strip inside and the light itself to hide it. Cut the light strip about six inches in length and then cut the flat portion of the light strip where the 3M tape would go so it could fit inside the light itself. Okay, now we got this little cap right here. We're gonna just put that like this. And just squeeze this back in. Like that. Okay. Remove the panel so you could run the wire through to hide it. There's a bracket over here. Run the light through the bracket and then attach to the light. Remove the plastic security plug. This way you can remove the side floor panel and run the wire between that and the weather stripping. Okay, now it's time to do everything in reverse. Let's put the floor side panel back on, snap it back into place.
run the wires under the bracket of the front seat. By doing this, when the seat moves, it won't pinch the wire. Now it's time to do the center council. Cut the light strip to the length of it, and then you're gonna push the light strip in between the grooves of the plastic. This can get a little tedious, so use the plastic tool that came with it to separate it. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Let's work on the floor lights for the driver's side. Use the 3M tape and stick it under the dashboard where the steering wheel would be. Then you're going to get the wire and you're going to run it alongside under the plastic of the center console. Do this all the way till you get to the armrest. Do the exact same thing on the passenger side. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be working on the back seat. I got my light strip here. I'm gonna put the 3M tape on again. I'm gonna start doing this one. Put the flat end of the light strip between the plastic and the cushions of the seat. You can do this all the way around. Once that's done, you're gonna start pulling the 3M tape off and you're gonna put pressure so it sticks onto the plastic on the other side. Cut the flat part off of the light strip about maybe two or three inches in. This is so the tube could actually go into the light. On the rear of the seat, between the plastic and the cushion, stick the light inside. By doing this, it'll be hidden. I gotta do the same thing on the other back seat. Let's start taking this up. Redo all your steps for the other side, for the passenger seat. Secure both floor lights with the 3M tape under both seats. This will be for the back of the car. Hide the wires under the floor mats. This way they won't get pinched when the seats are moving back and forward. With the app in the car, I could change the, uh, the colors that I want. So right now I have it on red. We're gonna go to green. Blue, white, yellow, pink, purple, actually. Uh, we even have different modes on the app, so let's say I want to do a uh, red and green gradient. It'll flash between red and green, and I could change the speed of it to a lot slower. Uh, let's see if we have, here we go, seven color flash. Let's speed it up a little bit.
This took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, the wiring wasn't very explicit on how to wire everything and it was just so many wires in the armrest. I ended up um, running the wires on the floor instead and hiding them under the, um, the carpet. Um, it's the only way I was able to get it to really close the armrest. So if you want more of these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Have a good day.